Hello. The weather is about to turn much colder. In fact, it's going to turn unusually cold through next week, even for the winter. And that's something we don't often say here at the Met Office. With that cold air comes the risk of snowfall. Disruptive snowfall could occur in parts of the UK. How cold will it get? And where are we likely to see some snow? Well, during the weekend, it's going to be chilly enough, but actually the proper cold air doesn't arrive until later in the weekend. At the start of Saturday, it's a frosty start, but high pressure is in charge. And that means for most of us, it's going to be a sunny Saturday. And in fact, that high pressure, a big beast of a high to the north of Scandinavia, continues to dominate the weather throughout the weekend. But look at those isobars, tightly packed across the UK. That means that the winds coming from the east will be brisk and they're coming off a chilly continent so it's going to feel cold all weekend although temperatures on the thermometer won't be particularly extreme three to six degrees typically one or two flakes of snow in the east but really it's not until the end of sunday that we see the very cold air if i put the temperatures on the map here you can see brutally cold air sat over siberia that is coming our way those easterly winds start to tap into it later on Sunday and you can see that through Sunday night that cold air engulfs the UK. Now it is unusual to see such deep cold from Siberia cover the whole of the UK but that's what we're facing at the start of next week and when we say it's going to be unusually cold yes northern parts of Britain have seen cold temperatures at times through the winter snow and frost as well but the cold weather through next week is going to be unusual in terms of just how deep that cold is coming from Siberia. It's also going to be unusual in terms of how sustained the cold weather will be throughout next week and potentially beyond. And unusual in terms of how widespread up and down the British Isles the cold air will be. In fact, in this country we often say it's marginal for snow. You normally have to be further north or on a hill to see a guaranteed chance of snowfall elsewhere rain and sleep but through next week the air will be cold enough all the way from the Scilly Isles up towards Shetland for anything falling out of the sky to be snowfall. However not everywhere will see snowfall because we need two extra ingredients we need moisture and we need low pressure and at the beginning of next week well we've got high pressure in charge of our weather that big area of high pressure sat over Scandinavia, still an easterly wind, but it tends to keep things relatively settled. However, because the air is so cold, well, anything coming over that North Sea will turn into showers. And it's likely that across eastern and southern parts of Britain at the beginning of next week, we'll see frequent snow showers. Now, showers are notoriously hit and miss. So some areas will see a considerable covering by the start of Monday, could cause disruption on the roads first thing. Other areas will miss out. As the week goes on, that high pressure still to the northeast of us, but high in the sky, an area of low pressure will start to appear and that will tend to destabilise the air. And that means that showers across the UK will become more and more widespread by the middle of next week, just about anywhere at risk from snow showers by Tuesday and Wednesday. Also, there are signs towards the end of next week that low pressure will begin to make an appearance from another direction. And as that bumps into this deep cold air across the UK, well, there's a threat for some places of substantial prolonged snowfall. So it's impossible to give uh, firm details at this stage, and we will, of course, keep you updated as we get closer to the time. But it looks likely that at the start of next week, it's the east and south of the country that sees the most frequent snow showers, highly variable amounts, and it's throughout the air, middle of, and the end of next week where we like to see more prolonged snow coming in from other directions. So we will, of course, keep you updated here at the Met Office and you can follow those updates through our website, through our social media channels and by downloading our app.